and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I feel like I have been waiting an eternity to open this box. Um, this is our order from Dreamer Designs. Um, it is one where I confirmed before ordering that these were the new style canvas because I did do an order a few months back for two Dreamer designs um, and realised that while they, they were different to the first ones I ever purchased, they were still very hard to see the symbols with a light pad. Uh, turns out, while I had got a newer version of the canvas, I hadn't got their newest version of the canvas. So these two are definitely their newest ones. I do have a light pad in here with me. I'm not going to be able to showcase it extremely well, I don't think, on camera, but I am going to give it a try. So first things first, let's open my one. So it was one of the members of the group that started this um, because they did put up uh, one of Dreamer Design's new releases, which is absolutely gorgeous. Megan hugely fell in love with and has added to her ever-growing stash. Um, and yeah, I decided I wanted one while we were at it. So I'm trying to work out whether I was trying to work out if their boxes are slightly different there it's it's stiff there we go i thought it was one of those that i couldn't reseal up then for a minute but it's not everything's good do still get the dreamer designs dust bag uh, just a couple of little cardboard bits but yeah do still get the canvas in their bag which is quite nice i like I like the fact that this can be reused. Um, it can be reused to store it, especially because at the moment I'm working with multiple canvases, multiple large ones. So I do roll them up and pop them away after each evening of diamond painting, ready for the next evening that could be a different one. Um, oh, I'll have a look also at their toolkit. Now, I'm not going to open this for both of them, but this is different. So, we have... Do they fit on there? Oh, they do. So, we have a new tray. This is a large tray, so this must come with their newer canvases. And it does have acrylic pieces. So, you can choose to have a couple of diamonds kitted up, maybe, if you want. Uh, you could even have three. And then, of course, when you're done with one, tip one out. This will lift up, or at least it's it's just a bit stiff. But it does move, doesn't it? Looks, yeah, it does move. It's just stiff. Um, I'm sure that'll work its way out. Um, so, yeah, you can do it with one and then remove that and tip out your second and then remove that and tip out your third. I've not seen that before. Do get a little brush that can help get some of your drills shifted off there. You can also use it to brush your canvas, get rid of any excess wax. Um, and I'm sure they are useful for something as well. On the other end, we get two pots of wax in this kit. I get, oh no, two pens. Two pens, one with this plastic end, one with a single placer end, and a squishy for both. We also get a large straightener, a three placer, and what looks like a six or a seven, I'd say a seven placer. Also get some bags and a nice set of pointy tweezers. So a beefy toolkit in this one. That's beefier than I've had before, but that bag is so soft. Oh, okay, let me move that out of the way. Let's have a look at the image that I chose. So we do have some beautiful ribbon. I've ended up going for another 
Anne-Marie Bone. Absolutely love her images. I, ooh, I went for Valentine Bridge. Um, it's licensed artwork from St. Anne-Marie Bond. It is a square. It is 80 by 60 in size. All the symbols do look clear. They look clearer than other ones have been. All the small symbols seem to be in black. What I had trouble with primarily was the light symbols that were thin. So you can get some that of course that are chunkier than others. And looking at this, apart from potentially this sideways staple that is in white. Let me, please tell me my light pad has enough charge. It's very hard to tell because it's light in here. Let me just turn off the light. Have I actually got my light pad? Okay, so there it is. It's not going very bright, but, oh, I can still see though. I can still tell by putting it on and I've just managed to turn it off. <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay, so the symbol, the staple symbol is really clear. The camera might be doing a bit of an auto adjust, but you can see my light pad underneath. Uh, the sim, the staple symbol's really clear. There's a T symbol. That's also really clear. We do actually have two staple symbols facing different ways. One's a green, one's a blue. I can see the difference between the two of them. We've also got the chevron. Now we do also have a chevron face, facing two different ways and they're very similar colours again, but they're visible. We've also got a line and let's say these are all the white symbols. These are all the ones I had trouble with. Um, it's like the colour on the background bled across and because the symbol was so thin, you just could not see it. But... We are all looking good. Oh, excuse me, put that light back on. Um, yeah, it is all looking good. There is a couple of symbols that I say that are very similar. So it may make it tricky. So we have this chevron symbol here, which is three, two, one. But then we also have nine, one, five facing the opposite way. I would have preferred those to have been two completely different colors. Um, but it's it's something I would just highlight when kissing up. Uh, we also have, this is what I call the staple symbol. So we have the staple as 938, but then we also have it as 797. So again, both dark, green, blue, very similar. If they'd have switched those, so we were talking red and green, and pink and blue, might have been a little bit easier to see. Um, but... The symbols look good, which is absolutely fantastic. Exactly what I was hoping for, because they do have some amazing designs. Uh, this has the grand sum of 68 different colours. Uh, it does come with stickers, though they're not cut very well. Uh, if you can see, I've got the bottom of the next one on my next one. I don't think it's cut any of the symbols off. It's trimmed the top off my letter G, um, but not enough that I can't tell it's a G. I don't think it's chopped any completely, but it definitely gets worse as it goes further down. It's like it's been fed in a little bit. But it's a little bit out of alignment, but the picture itself is gorgeous. This sticker's nice. This is one, it tells you it's Valentine Bridge, um, tells you the diamond shape 
the size and you can put a start date and an end date so that's quite cute i like that how to diamond paint and then we have the diamonds themselves which they do pop into two different bags so we do have some ab's we actually have oh we have quite a few two four six eight different ab's in this one um so we have the letter c which is this ab this green ab um i can see it here there's a scattering here scattering here very much a scattering i have noticed um with dreamer designs and especially these Anne marie bond they are so confetti heavy they're absolutely beautiful uh, we do have a chunk of it here but then most of it is a scattering throughout the tree uh, then we have the white ab this is a lot here in the background but then again you have a scattering around all the trees and because there is quite a lot there is actually a lot of the scattering in the water down here but there's big chunks of it here it's like rays of light showing through the trees there's quite often a lot of ab with that then we have this ab which is a pale yellow where's that one there's some scattering in here there's quite a bit scattered in here um, probably scattered in many other places say so it's very very confetti heavy uh, then we have the letter h which is an ab that's this one uh, so the letter h is mainly scattered throughout the water oh no and actually up the tree as well and in some of these rays here we have that scattering then we have l which is this purple dark purple we have some of this scattering right across the bottom you see there's quite a few colors down here have we got the l anywhere else yes there is some scattered in this sort of railing across the top of the bridge again not every slat but it is scattered throughout in little blocks then we have ab740 which is actually a bright orange i'm trying to see which one oh, it's in here so it's actually just slightly darker than this orange here if you can see that orange there uh, so that one is scattered in with this orange here again say scattered it's very confetti there's also some scattered in this orange over on the left then we've got a pale green ab uh, which again is in here it's a very very pale green i'm not sure if you can see that properly um but that one is scattered throughout the bottom primarily is it up in that tree yes there is also a little bit up in this green tree and then last but no by no means least we have a pale pink ab uh the pale pink i'm expecting it yes it is scattered throughout this sort of middle tree there's probably some scattered in the bottom as well um, but dreamer designs do or at least i found the ones that i've done the ab's are really really nice placements and um, they're very much a scattering which is why in effect i've given them so many chances and bought so many diamond paintings at different times because some of their designs I say are beyond beautiful um but their ab placement is also really really nice that's also like a lint canvas as well so very happy with my latest one from dreamers designs and i just need to make sure that it is the newer version kit when i purchase it i mean the one i'm working on at the moment the dreamer designs uh in round that was one of my last purchases uh 
I'm doing that in the summertime and it's perfectly fine because I don't need my light pad. So it, it can still be done, um, but I wouldn't do it in winter because I need my light pad when it goes dark at four. But for this one, perfectly happy to work on that one in the winter. And then the second one is Megan's. So this is the one that made us go purchase him again. <laughs> if I can get in it. Absolutely gorgeous picture. I too think it is beautiful. But I do have a soft spot for Anne-Marie Vaughan's pictures. I really do. Okay, so this one too, it is also the newer version of the canvas. We did check that. Keep hold of that for popping it away in a moment. Though I don't put the ribbon back on because I'm lazy. Uh, but this one, it is another 60 by 80. See so if I can get my camera to actually focus. But this one is Cosmic Tree of Life. How stunning is that image? How absolutely beautiful, colourful and everything else is that one. This one has 62 colours and it has six AB diamonds. It is not quite as confetti as um, the Amory Bon, Bone, Bon, whichever way it's pronounced. Um, but her trees, or the, it's a lot of leaves of the trees, are always confetti heavy. Absolutely beautiful to do. Um, this one is this image, and it's not as confetti heavy, but it definitely still is. So even though this looks like a solid background, this is here. There is four or five different colours in this here, um, albeit all dark colours, but you are not placing big, big blocks of colours. Stickers are slightly off cut on this one as well, not quite as bad as mine uh, the other way. So yeah, it's like it's off cut them the other way, um, but usable. Do we have any similar symbols on this one? I'm mainly looking at the likes of the staple and the chevrons. Um, there is two, a dark brown and a dark green. That'll be something she'll probably have to highlight to make sure that it is not confusing so we have 500 and 3371 are both chevrons painting in, pointing in different ways there is also the triangles of the brown and green again so two dark colors um, and the corners are on different oh and then we also add in 815 so a dark red a dark brown and a dark green so i think there might have to be some highlighting to keep an eye on symbols, especially if it's worked on the side. But there is some cracking colours in this, considering it is quite a dark image. There is some gorgeous looking bright pinks, bright greens, bright oranges scattered throughout. For the ABs, just to give a brief overview on where they are, we have a bright yellow, that is scattered in here. Uh, so they call it AB07, but it is, it's very similar to that bright yellow, but it, with an AB coating because it's hidden in there. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit darker than that yellow. Uh, but that is scattered in this cloud. It's scattered in little color parts on this tree, scattered over here, scattered up here. Yeah, basically all the way up the tree. It is scattered. And when I say scattered, if I show you, ooh, if I can get my arm. So can you see this section here? It's the symbol N, N for November. Um, so hopefully that is focusing on it. But, you know, you've got four here, two here, two here, three here, 
and you've got five over here, four here, two here, four here. So they're very much, you know, they're not a big block of it, but they do really well at adding that sparkle. Then we have a white AB. This is actually quite predominantly in here. So your white is all of an AB, but then we have some up here in sort of these clouds, some up here, the white that you can see here, most of that is an AB. There's also scatterings here and scatterings down here. Again, where you can see the white, there might be a little bit of pale yellow with it, but it is primarily um, ABs scattered. I'm actually kind of jealous. Then we have AB666, which is your red. Your red AB, we have some scattered down here. Again, pretty much they just look in as though they are all scattered in the tree and these clouds of various, various ways. So your red again is scattered in here. Uh, they're very different. So we have yellow, red, orange, two blues and a white scattered uh, in here. Your orange... Uh, which is AB741, is also scattered throughout the tree and scattered in your sort of big cloud stuff either side. Um, is there any in the root system? Yes. I wasn't seeing it for a minute, but then it became clear. And then we have AB996 and 3846. So I think that's your 3846, though it might be your 996. No, I think that's your 3846, your 996 is there. Both of those ABs, again, they're scattered in the same places. Um, they're scattered in sort of the root system, the sparkle. So actually this white lightning bolt is then surrounded by two blue ABs. So that's, well, it's not a lightning bolt, but it's got the look of it. Um, that's really going to sparkle out. This white over here, um, I'm not sure if you can see that, looks like a, again, looks like sparks. That is surrounded by blue AB as well. But then the blue is also scattered throughout the whole tree as well and some of these cloud parts up above so your ab's are really spread out and scattered but this whole picture has color spread out and scattered it is absolutely gorgeous so i will pop a link down below to both of them uh, these are ones that we have purchased with our own pennies because the enablers uh, put a picture up of this absolutely gorgeous image which dragged Megan in hook line and sinker uh, and knowing that I needed the newer version of the canvas to have a really nice one to do because I do enjoy their drills and everything else and their AB placement is second to none um I knew I had to treat myself to another Anne Marie <laughs> bone as well but yeah there we go. They are the two images that we got from Dreamer Designs. Finally unboxed. I feel like I've been unboxing these for weeks. June Waffle put a pause on it, but they are now here. Um, I will pass this one on to Megan and I'll pop the other one in my stash. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.